Common law and code law systems are two important ways of organising the law of a country. It's useful to know whether a country is regularly described as a common law system or as a code law system. But when we describe systems in this way, we're simplifying. Here are four ways that a system might fail to be completely common law or completely code law. First, some countries are bijural. This means that a given country might contain two established and separate legal systems. Often, this is because different parts of the country have different histories. I've talked about England as being a common law system, and that's correct. But it would be incorrect to say that the UK as a whole is purely a common law system. Scots law developed differently from English law and, like many code law systems, traces its origins to Roman law. This means that although there are many resemblances between the Scottish and English legal systems, many people would regard the UK as being a bijural system. Other bijural systems include Canada, where courts in French-speaking Quebec have a different approach, the United States, where law in Louisiana, the former French colony, is much closer to a civil law system, and South Africa, which has a complicated mix of English, Dutch and indigenous legal origins. Second, some common law countries have codes which set out principles in well-defined areas of the law. The United States is mostly a common law country. However, because the United States is a federal system, because states can make their own laws regarding commerce, and because commerce between states is desirable, many states in the US have adopted the Uniform Commercial Code. Consolidating existing laws and precedents into a single code capable of spanning multiple states is often advocated by legal reformers. Third, some code law systems have to deal with interpretative principles more commonly found in common law systems. Most of the member states of the EU are code law systems. You might therefore expect that the Court of Justice of the European Union, the apex court in the EU, would follow the same practices as code law courts. Whilst it does follow some practices, like banning dissenting opinions, the Court of Justice has been happy to treat its past decisions as establishing precedent, and important principles of EU law have been established by past decisions. This looks a lot more like judging in a common law system. Fourth, most countries have some dispute resolution systems that work like courts but which may rely on very different principles. For example, sometimes newspapers in the United Kingdom talk about Sharia courts. There aren't any binding Sharia courts in the UK, but some Muslims are happy to accept the jurisdiction of Sharia-based family courts. Similar arrangements apply to the Jewish community, where the London Beth Din plays an important role. These courts rely on the consent of the individuals involved. These courts often work with family disputes, but mediation and arbitration systems are found in most countries. For predictable reasons, religious courts tend to attract more attention than these other forms of dispute resolution. <laughs>